We'd like to get started with the program. How are the refreshments? My name is Tom Plasley. I'm the director of the Department of Elder Services for the City of Quincy. Director of the Kennedy Center here, and I'd like to welcome you all to the to the Kennedy Center. And hard to believe we're already wrapping up our 38th annual Senior Olympic Games. But do we have a good time? Yes. All right, all right. Well, let's begin as we always do. Please stand up, and we'll do our national anthem. These folks are in the twilight of life, and just this week we had a terrible tragedy in Texas with the young children. So maybe we can combine that moment of silence for our dear friends and for all those who are suffering and for the children that died. Thank you. We want to uh, thank our sponsors, Linden Ponds, Erickson Lending. So we thank you very much for your generosity and your strong support of our games. And we would like to acknowledge you that Quincy Senior Olympics gratefully acknowledges and thanks Linden Ponds for sponsoring the games of 2022. It's really a pleasure to do this, and um, we're just really grateful that people can be doing these things now and looking at everybody smiling here. It's it's so nice. So thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. And of course, as we acknowledge, Paul Brookdale has been a tremendous friend of ours, but Brookdale Quincy Bay. So we thank them for their strong support throughout throughout the years. We're, um, we're delighted to have uh, also uh, the, the uh, Tory de Passeri Club, as I, as, it's hard for an Irish kid to pronounce that. Is Bruce here? He's normally here, he competes, and he represents the club. Is there any representative from the club? They're cleaning up after the wonderful chicken dinner that they, <laughs> that they provide every year. Well, we thank them for their strong support every year. Um, and we also want to thank Bruce Durandulance, our dear friends at QATV who are, are recording this tonight. Thank you. 
the Quincy Sun and various uh, agencies of the city, the Quincy Police Department, our print shop for data processing, traffic and parking, the Parks Department does an outstanding job as always. Uh, I believe that Mayor Coke is going to try to, I did speak with him earlier, he called me and said he was going to try to stop by, I know he had a couple of weeks to attend to, so uh, if he's not here, we'll certainly give him a pass, but we couldn't do it without the mayor. He's really, really phenomenal with his support, so we appreciate that greatly. We can give him a hand, even though he's not here. I think the host sites are certainly welcome here at, at the Kennedy Center. I mentioned the club before, uh, Faxon Field, Olindy's, Furnace Brook Golf Course. How was that for the first time? All right, I'm going to turn it over now to my colleague, Michelle Hanley, um, who's going to um, do the, the, Dom, the Strong Awards. The Strong Awards, yep. Thank you, Tom, and welcome everybody. We're so glad to see you. We're glad you all made it through the three weeks. I'm tired, so <laughs> you must be really tired too, though I think you guys are in better shape than I am. Uh, this year, our 38th Senior Games, we had 176 competitors, 77 men, 99 women, from 20 communities. So we're, we're almost back up to where we were in 2019. So that's, that's really great. That's really terrific. The Dawn Strong Awards are awarded to the first place finisher in the eldest category in the one mile walk. If you remember, this will be important for the folks at home. I'll do a public broadcast right now. Well, all of you know it because you competed in the games, but we compete for many, many events in five year categories. We start at age 55, so 55 to 59, 60 to 64, and so on. For our medal categories, you're going to hear us give out lots of medals tonight. You'll see them over here all ready to go. I want everybody at home to know that we don't just give medals to everybody for showing up. You have to compete to earn these medals, and all the folks in the book tonight earn their medals. If there are one, two, or three competitors only in an event, we only give out a gold medal. If there are four, five, or six competitors in an event, a gold and silver medal are awarded. And if there are seven or more competitors in a given event, gold, silver, and bronze medals are awarded. Certain events, such as cornhole, pickleball, bocce, and there's probably another I'm not thinking about right now, are open events with mixed age groups, uh, darts and billiards. There you go, there's the others I forgot. Are open age groups where all the ages are competing against each other. Um, so all of the medals have meaning. All of the events um, in which you participated these past three weeks have meaning. You did a wonderful, wonderful job. Um, Amy Hicks is with us tonight, who is a former Olympian, and she's going to submit her official results to the National Committee to qualify for the National Games. I know, Ed Petkovic, uh, you've also been to the National Games, and I apologize if there's anybody else who has gone to the National that, that I'm not announcing, um, but I, I think there are several of you in the crowd who could probably do so. Um, my feeling is, George, you probably have. Oh, hi, Amy. Excellent. In 2023, the National Senior Games will be in Pittsburgh from July 7th through the 23rd. Perfect. In July 2023. So if you're interested in that, make sure you visit Amy over there. She'll give you exactly what you need to do. <laughs> Saturday, June 25th happens to be my mom's birthday, and uh, Amy needs a ride to Springfield for the qualifying game, so there you go. 
Um, our games were first in Massachusetts, and uh, that's why the state started some games. The Commonwealth started games after we did. So the strong awards, without further ado, the lovely plaques here that are kept on the wall all year long. Our friends over at Making Your Mark already engraved them for us. The winners this year of the Dawn Strong Elder Fitness Award are Lorraine Sumner and Herb Cameron. laughing for three weeks. I told you it's a nice break from the children we deal with all year. I love coming to work with you guys. Uh, on the, Keeping with the special awards, uh, you may remember back in 2014, the track opened at Fax and Field across from the police station. At that time, we started recording Senior Olympic One Mile Run Quincy Record Holders. This year, we had three people break records that had previously been set at the Senior Olympics. <coughs> Peter Hogan set the record for the 70 to 74 year old men with a time of 8 minutes 31 seconds. <laughs> Mary O'Brien set the record for the 65 to 69 year old women. Actually, she shattered the record at, with a time of 10 minutes 38 seconds. And Patricia Delval uh, set the record for the 75 to 79 year old women at the time of 1302. For those, we also have a special certificate and a special medal. Thank you. Thank you. At this point, I'm stepping out of the way, and Tom Class, we will continue with the awards. I want to um, thank Mia Liang from the City Council, who's here today, and JC Borneo from the Council on Aging um, Board of Directors is here as well, who will hopefully help us give out some of the medals. Um, and from uh, my office, of course, Eileen Henry, you hear me call her Chacha all the time, because I don't think she'll answer to Eileen if I try, but I couldn't do my job without without Chacha. So um, a big, big thank you to Chacha and all of the recreation staff that helped throughout the weeks. So we're going to be handing medals to you and Tom's going to call the roll. 
And then you just read the way you can hear. There's a ruler, there's a highlighter if you want it. Oh, right, 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 right. I think what we'll do too is. Um, are, we, are we gonna put pictures over there? Is that what we decided? Yeah. Or, or, or. So we'll have them um, come here, get their medal, then go right over by the sign. Did you get that? So you're gonna come here, you're gonna get your medal, then you go over by the sign there, and we'll take a picture of you by the sign, and then go sit down. Okay, the gold medal is for the volleyball. Once again, the seniors won. JC, JC won in. Kristen Johnson, Jack Kelly, Mary Fuller, Romano Melvin, Ed Spring, Tom Campbell, Bruce Lindine, Phil Borneo, Irene So, Charlie Taylor. Come on up! Okay, for the gold medalists in the men's walks and runs, gold medal in the one mile walk, the one mile run, Joel Davidson. Gold medal in the one mile walk, one mile run, half mile walk, three mile walk, Peter Hogan. Gold medal in the one mile walk, in the half mile walk, in the three mile walk, Ed Peskevich. Gold medal in the one mile walk, in the half mile walk, in the three mile walk, George Millette. Gold medal in the one mile walk, in the half mile walk, Bill Bonzagni. Gold medal, I have to say something now. One of the rare recreation uh, young ladies who it was her first year, she said, I love Herb. And I told her, Herb's not as nice as you think he is. But you know what? I lied. He is as nice as everyone thinks he is. Gold medal in the one mile walk and the half mile walk, Herb Cameron. Silver medal in the one mile walk, gold in the one mile run, silver in the half mile walk, and silver in the three mile walk, Peter Abitable. Gold medal in the half mile walk, Bobby Nevins. Woo! Gold medal in the half mile walk, Jim James Dexter. Gold medal in the half mile walk, Ted Coburn. Also a torch lighter. Silver medal in the half mile walk, Paul Desmond. Bronze medal in a half mile walk, Paul Schostead. Gold medal in the three mile walk, Thomas Devlin. Gold medal in the three mile walk, Ben Fien.
Now you know you're getting up there when your classmate is one of the gold medalists. This is the women's walks and runs. Gold medal in the one mile walk and in the half mile walk, my classmate Mary Beth Pound. She's not here. Gold medal in the uh, one mile walk and the half mile walk, Rebecca Coburn Bassey. Did I pronounce that right? Gold medal in the one mile walk, Mary Whitten. Gold medal in the one mile walk, Patricia Knight. Gold medal in the one mile walk, gold medal in the one mile run, half medal, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> gold medal in the half mile walk, Patricia Duval. Gold medal in the one mile walk, silver medal in the half mile walk, Nancy Kramer. Gold medal in the one mile walk, and gold medal in the three mile walk, Lorraine Summer. Silver medal in the one mile walk, gold medal in the half mile run, gold medal in the half mile walk, gold medal in the three mile walk, Mary O'Brien. Silver medal in the one mile walk, gold medal in the three mile walk, Dorothy Rand. Silver medal in the one mile walk, silver medal in the half mile walk, Pat Artes. Silver medal in the one mile walk, gold medal in the half mile walk, and gold medal in the three mile walk, Jenny Jankowski. Gold medal in the one mile run, Celeste Devlin. Gold medal in the half mile walk, Charlene Tinkham. Gold medal in the half mile walk, Jenny Lindsay. Silver medal in the half mile walk, Denise Keneally. Bronze medal in the half mile walk, Meg Doherty. Gold medal in the three mile walk, Diane Leeson. Okay, we're moving to the women's bocce. The gold medalist for the women's bocce. Lona Mistria, Nancy Walty, Meg Doherty, and Eleanor Maugh. Come on up, gold medalists. Beginning to hear the sound of the metals clicking, multiple metal wings. All right. 
silver medalists Betsy Malton, Terry Schofield, Phyllis O'Leary, and Ann Adams. celebrating 25 years as director. I was 25 years with the department. And 19 as director, I think that's fine. 24. But um, when I first joined, so many people said, you're too young to be a council on aging director. Nobody says that anymore. <laughs> the bronze medalists, Helen LaRose, Linda Nolan, Barbara Lombardi, Marilyn Mishuli, and Barbara Thomas.
Good looking bunch over there, I'll tell you. Okay, the men's bowling. The gold medalists are Bobby Nevins, Paul Desmond, Ed Peskevich, Paul Schofield, <laughs> and George Millet. Sorry, buddy. It's Bill Bonzagni and Herb Tamaron. Our civil, silver medalists for the men's bowling. David Hahi, Ed O'Connor, Chuck Boken. That's it. Chuck gets the bronze. So silver medalist David Hahi, Ed O'Connor, and our bronze medalist Chuck Boken. Great to have so many categories, huh? All right, we're going to move on to the swimming. The men's swimming. Gold medal in the 100 freestyle, gold medal in the 100 back style, gold medal in the 100 breast style, Joel Davidson. Gold medal in the 100 yard freestyle, gold medal in the breaststroke, Peter Hogan. Gold medal in the 100 yard freestyle, gold medal in the 100 breaststroke, gold medal in the 100 Backstroke and gold medal in the 500 yard freestyle, James Dexter. Gold medal in the 100 breaststroke, Ian Dargan. Gold medal in the 100 yard freestyle and gold medal in the 500 yard freestyle, Peter Andrew. <laughs> How about a hand for the men, huh? The women's swimming, gold medal in the 100 yard freestyle, gold medal in the 100 backstroke, gold medal in the breaststroke, and gold medal in the 500 yard freestroke, Mary O'Brien. Gold medal in the 50 freestyle, gold medal in the 50 breaststroke, and gold medal in the 500 freestyle, Roberta Allison. Gold medal in the 100 yard freestyle, gold medal in the 100 breaststroke, gold medal in the 100 yard backstroke, Judith Hurley. Gold medal in the 100 breaststroke, Suzanne Helsley. Halsey, I'm sorry, Halsey. Gold medal in the 100 yard freestyle and gold medal in the breaststroke, Amy Hicks.
is it for the swimmers. Amy still needs a ride. <laughs> just throwing that out there. And, and the lifeguards had no saves this year. Everybody made them. To hear that, no saves for the lifeguards this year. And then the good news is everybody made it. Might take an opportunity, you know, it's, the lifeguards are excellent, the recreation kids are the best, absolutely the best, the cream of the crop of our city. Okay, cornhole, cornhole tournament, gold medalists, Peter Andrew and Bill Bonzagni get the gold. The silver medalists, Ed Peskevich and Doug Deegan. And our bronze medalists in Cornhole, Jack Kelly and Ed Spring. Outstanding work, huh? For the women, gold medalist Jean Every, gold medalist Shirley Pearson. For the silver medal, Carol Hetfeld and Maureen Aronson. And the bronze medal winners, Marilyn Riley and Marie Doherty. to reminisce a little bit. Anyway, for the golf, the gold medal winners are Don Deegan, Robert Kelly, Thomas Kelly, and Ken King. The silver medals, Will Smith, Mickey Weinzars, Peter Lucchese and Leo Kuch, Kuchkina? Lachetti. Lachetti? Oh, she, she, she knows each. She, very good. Peter Lachetti. I thought it was Lucchese, I'm sorry. Mickey got a birdie on hole six. That was the best hole of the day of the whole tournament. That's great. I'm still having trouble with the with the window thing. <laughs> For the women's golf, 
The gold medalists are Jenny Jankowski and Betsy Shabadi. Billiards and darts. The gold medalist, Alan Kramer. Silver medal in billiards and silver medal in darts, Paul Manning. Bronze medal in billiards, Thomas Campbell. Gold medal in darts, Don Deegan. And the bronze medal in dark, Walter Entrone Jr. said as he could only say he goes pickleball I said what he goes pickleball I said what he said pickleball it's the new phenomenon you gotta get it you gotta get down there we're gonna go down to the Kennedy Center we'll have the line set up and we'll pickleball I said, okay all right all right we'll do it we'll do pickleball whatever it is and he said I'm telling you it's gonna take off like a rocket and he was right so uh, we owe uh, gratitude to Barry for his uh, bringing pickleball to these games into our great city. The, um, the gold medalists for women's pickleball, Leslie Maher, Janice Walsh, Leslie Maher and Janice Walsh. The silver medal, Mary O'Brien, Barbara King. Bronze goes to Jill Lacey and Helen LaRose. And I think Helen's out of state.
The gold medal for men's goes to Wayne Weatherby, Jack Hall. Come on up, men. Silver medal goes to Tom Green and David True. And the bronze medal goes to David Vincent, Dave Vincent, and Lou Cestilio. Gold medal in horseshoes and a gold medal in basketball, Carol Hatfield. Gold medal in horseshoes, gold medal in softball, gold medal in discus throw, Jean Moore. Gold medal in horseshoes, Carol Cunningham. Gold medal in horseshoes, gold medal in basketball, gold medal, uh, silver medal in shot put, gold medal in javelin, Meg Darty. Gold medal in horseshoes, gold medal in basketball, gold medal in shot put, silver medal in javelin, gold medal in discus throw, Amy Hicks. Gold medal in the horseshoes, gold medal in the basketball, gold medal in the shot put, gold medal in the softball, gold medal in the javelin, and gold medal in the discus throw, Mary Nevins. Silver medal in the horseshoes, Michelle Bowes. Silver medal in the uh, horseshoes, Joanne Bythro. Silver medal in the horseshoes and silver medal in the shot put, Jenny Lindsay. Gold in the basketball, gold in the shot put, gold in the discus throw, Pat Artez. Gold in the basketball, Irene So. Silver in the basketball, gold in the softball, Barbara Thomas. Silver in the basketball, gold in the shot put, gold in the softball, gold in the javelin, gold in the discus throw, Marilyn Riley. Silver in the basketball, gold in the shot put, gold in the softball, gold in the javelin, gold in the discus throw, Mary O'Brien. Gold in the shot put, gold in the softball, gold in the javelin, gold in the discus throw, Mary Beth Pound. Gold in the shot put, gold in the javelin, Charlene Tickham. Gold in the shot put, Nancy Walty. 
Gold in the shot put, gold in the softball, gold in the javelin, gold in the discus throw, Rebecca Corbin Bassi. And of course, Rebecca is the daughter of Ted. They lit our Olympic torch together. Silver in the shot put, Elizabeth Mafia. Gold in the softball, gold in the javelin, Nancy, uh, no, I'm sorry, Betsy Shapati. Silver in the softball, silver in the javelin, Nancy Kramer. I knew that too. Beth Farah. I was talking about your profession, Betty. Silver in the softball, Vereen Doherty. Bronze in the softball and a gold in the discus throw, Jenny Jankowski. Rotation events. Gold in the horseshoes, Don Deegan. Gold in the horseshoe, gold in the basketball, gold in the softball, Bobby Nevin. Gold in the horseshoes, gold in the shot put, gold in the softball, gold in the javelin, Walter Intron Jr. Gold in the horseshoe, silver in the basketball, silver in the softball, gold in the discus throw, Peter Andrew. Gold in the horseshoes, gold in the basketball, Paul Schofield. Gold in the horseshoe, gold in the short putt, gold in the softball, gold in the javelin, gold in the discus throw, George Millette. Gold in the horseshoe, gold in the basketball, gold in the shot put, gold in the softball, gold in the javelin, gold in the discus throw, Peter Bonzagni. Oh, Bill. I'm sorry. Bill Bonzagni. Sorry, my eyes are acting up. <laughs> sorry. Honest to God, it is a little hot. It's harder than it looks. I've been called a lot of things, but never Peter. <laughs> He told me he'd been called a lot of things, but never Peter. <laughs> Thank you for, for being kind to me. I appreciate it. Gold in the horseshoes, gold in the basketball, gold in the shot put, gold in the softball, gold in the javelin, Herb Cameron. <laughs> silver in the horseshoes, silver in the, uh, gold in the javelin, and bronze in this just throw, Ed Peskevich. Bronze in the horseshoe, bronze in the basketball, gold in the shot put, Richard Ferran. Gold in the basketball, J.C. Borneo. Gold in the basketball, Wayne Merritt.
Gold in the basketball, Jose Forio. Gold in the shot put, gold in the javelin, gold in the discus throw, John Balding. Gold in the shot put, gold in the softball, gold in the javelin, and gold in the discus throw, James Dexter. Silver in the shot put, Paul Shostead. Gold in the softball, silver in the javelin, Ed Spring. Bronze in the javelin, bronze, uh, silver in the discus throw, Tom Labonja. Gold in the discus throw, Ted Coburn. And gold in the discus throw, Peter Hogan. not the triumph, but the struggle. The essential thing is not to have conquered, but have fought well. And I gotta tell you, you all have fought well. We thank you. Yeah, you have. Woo. It's been a long-standing tradition that we end with Kate Smith. She couldn't be here tonight. No, I'm kidding. So, are we all queued up? We can say a few words? Oh, absolutely. Our counselor, Nina Liang, is here to say a few words. Thank you. I'm going to be brief. I just wanted to take this opportunity on behalf of the city of Quincy, if we could. Um, if everyone could sit for one moment. And then to Tom, to Michelle, all of the staff, if you can stand, all the volunteers who made this possible. Can we just give them a huge round of applause for making this possible? Thank you very much, Council. We appreciate the support. Okay, we're ready for Kate. We'll all stand for God bless America.
see you next year. Thanks, everybody.